Yo guys, Gluten-Free EDC here. I'm Brian, your gluten-sensitive representative. Today I have a small details overview of the Wolf P, a model designed by Matthew Weir of Weir Knives. Let's dive on in. So you have the typical box, the knife with a slip, fairly sturdy, I assume there's cardboard within this type of slip construction some goodies we'll get the box out of the way for now you have some cool stickers so this neat sticker this is a really cool one I like that a lot kind of like an 80s vibe kind of reminds me of saved by the bell actually weird knives and as you can see I have some of these stickers here that is because I have one of his knives for a later video. So that'll be a surprise down the line. We got this, the symbol, this really cool sticker. I don't know if you're trying to make it look like you. I don't know if it looks like you, buddy, but uh, no, nah, really cool sticker. I like that a lot. Something about Matt, I just want to put out there. Matt is a genuinely nice dude. I really like this guy. I've chatted with him a few times now about the knife that I own. He's just a really great guy. I talked to him about this knife as well. This came directly from him. He's just a really down to earth, genuine dude. Very awesome customer service. He responds very quickly when he's able to. He'll apologize, you know, if he has something going on, as we all do. But really, really great dude. Definitely worth mentioning. So let's dive on in. So in here you got silica, desiccant pack. Uh, let's get the COA first. So you have series number one, 2023. Weir Knives Wolf Production Series. That's the Wolf P, P for production. And then his website, www.weirnives.com. On the back, a really nice message. I appreciate you for your support. Weir Knives would be nothing without it and the love from you guys. You're the reason I'm able to do what I love on a daily basis. And for that, I will forever be grateful. I hope you enjoy your wolf pee. Thank you, Matthew Weirwin, Weir Knives. That's really cool to see. Nice little touch to put in there. Kind of gives it that homey vibe that I think, you know, we all want, right? Get that out of there. Oh, you just wanted to get back in, huh? All right, and that brings us to the knife. This Wolf P is a special one directly from Matt. So you can see it's titanium construction it's got an acid wash, stone washed kind of finish going on. Really quite lovely. Makes for a perfect user finish. You can see it is chamfered off on the edges. Always like to see that or contouring. And it appears that that also plays true for the inside of the knife, oftentimes forgotten. We have Timascus pivot collar, Timascus pocket clip, and the Timascus backspacer, all of which are a beautiful dark blue. That might be Zerkutai, actually. Uh, there seems to be a good bit of gray in there, so I can't quite tell. <laughs> you can see we do have the lock bar insert screw there in black and titanium, I would imagine. That actually matches the black and titanium thumb stud. These are the thumb studs he uses on his customs. I'm not the biggest fan of a pill shaped thumb stud, though he does chamfer it off around the edge to soften that edge for you. Let's see what the blade is like. Oh, fantastic detent from the feel of that. So 
You have a Damascus blade. I'm not sure what kind. However, it might be worth mentioning. This is gorgeous. <laughs> Obviously very subjective, but I like that it's a soft gray rather than more of that black color and then polished on the other portions. I'm not quite sure how that's achieved, but I will say in my humble opinion, that is gorgeous to see. Wow. Obviously the same on the other side. Beautiful action, very smooth. No blade play whatsoever. You can get it down in a single shot easily. Looks to be perfectly centered. This is a really well constructed knife by the feel of it. Let's do the thumb, which is what I would typically do. Yeah, fantastic action. Something to note here is there's jimping right where your index finger, I presume, is supposed to fall. So when you grip the knife, you have some added texture and that does provide decent grip because you're pulling down and your skin will go into those little grooves. It's not too sharp, not too deep, but it does provide a decent bit of grip there. And then the rest of your fingers fall into the knife very nicely. The ergos are actually really good. For such a small knife, the ergos are very good. Now, back to the blade real quick. There is a, it appears there's a slight recurve from here to here, and then ample belly. So it's a bit of a drop point type blade, I would imagine. You could refer to that as, I wouldn't call it a clip point. <laughs> Beautiful. Action is fantastic. Detent is a perfect detent for a thumb stud knife. No lock stick, no nothing. Everything seems really well done for this knife. I'm actually kind of in love with it. <laughs> it's, it's all really nice. There is some, if you can make that out, there is milling internally the weight of the knife is very light. It's fairly small handles and then fairly small blade. The internal milling makes for just a great experience all around. Let's get some size comparisons for you. I don't have my ruler, unfortunately. I have not been able to find it. I'm gonna have to order another one. So first we will start with the Devo Knives Mash, which is a 3.25 inch blade. Yes, it's dirty. Yes, I use it. So I'll line them up best I can by pivot. Then blade. So much smaller, obviously. I have the Quiet Carry Waypoint, another 3.25 inch blade. So you're looking at about a three inch blade. Here's a three inch blade for comparison. And you can see it's right about the same. This is the Riff Raff by Wii. And another three inch blade for comparison have to always try and get a custom in there, right? We have the Gareth Bull Knives Shamwari, three inch. And we might as well flip that over for the pretty set, eh? So yeah, fantastic size. It's, it's very small. It's actually very similar to the three inch Shamwari. The overall footprint is about the same. Very cool. Let's see, one more thing I'd like to point out is it does seem to be a hollow grind with flats and then a nice swedge. Really beautiful. It appears to be thin behind the edge, very thin. I like that. This should prove to be a fairly slicey blade. One thing I would say is the edge seems to terminate right next to 
not the sharpening choil, the, I can't think of it right now, but yeah, it's right next to there. So sharpening may be a bit difficult. Adding a sharpening choil or terminating the edge slightly earlier would have, would help with sharpening. Lockup seems great. Yeah, really, really great knife overall. The jimping on here matches that. So there's jimping along the blade. Again, it's not too deep, not too sharp. Provides enough traction for your thumb to land on. That's decent. I like it. Overall, really, really well done knife. Happy for you, Matt. This turned out great. You did a fantastic job with the OEM. And that's it, guys. I hope you have enjoyed. Take care.